Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now if you've played the Matrix Awakens Unreal Engine 5 tech demo on PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series consoles, then this city may look familiar to you. This is the City Sample, a sample project that's available to download now on PC. It's not a game, rather a showcase of Epic Games' new Unreal Engine 5 in action. Because this concept is more about showing off what the engine can do, optimization isn't really something worth talking about. Yes, this project is demanding, my i3 and 3050 combo has certainly met its match here with the default graphics settings, but it's not representative of how actual UE5 games will run, though I have no doubt some developers will put more time and care into making their games run smoother than others, which has always been the case. As a quick side note by the way, I had to enable MSI Afterburner after launching the demo, otherwise the whole thing would crash, so bear that in mind if you want to try it yourself. What we have here is a showcase of potential, a glimpse at the future of graphics. I've been playing, well, staring at this demo for the best part of this morning because it just looks incredible, especially with the default highest settings. While there is no integrated graphics menu, we can change things like crowd density and vehicle density, which helps out a little bit, but adjusting the options from within the game user settings.ini file helps the most. Using not quite the lowest, but low options increases performance on my system but it definitely chips away at that next gen feel even though we're not quite at the absolute minimum. And then I had a bad idea. As I caught sight of the two core AMD Athlon 3000G out the corner of my eye, I couldn't help but wonder, could it? If this CPU had legs it would have run away from home months ago, but until by some miracle it does grow some limbs and make a dash for the hills, then it's at the mercy of my unforgiving benchmarking tests. This is the Athlon 3000G versus Unreal Engine 5, and I'd like to apologise in advance for what you're about to see. Aside from lowering the visual options even further, basically by turning all of these values from 1 to 0, I also decided to play around with the project's resolution scaling as well. Now natively this is at 100, but I changed this to 20. I also overclocked the Vega 3i GPU from 1100 to 1650 MHz, which seems to be a must in certain titles. And this is the end result. Now it's still far from perfect, but just look at that frame rate, almost 30 FPS, sort of. I mean there are stutters all over the place and it looks as though we've got a mix of Vaseline and mustard smeared all over the screen from where I'm sitting, but aside from the silliness, there is a point here. It's that even when Unreal Engine 5 games do come along, as long as there are in-depth graphical options either in the game menus or outside of them, then low-end hardware should be able to handle said games even if extreme sacrifices are needed. I know this probably goes beyond usable for a lot of people, but the low-spec gaming show goes on. Nice graphics, who needs those anyway, right? I can't wait for games to start using Unreal Engine 5, and I certainly can't wait to start making them look like a pixelated mess on low-end hardware. I'll leave details below on how to access this demo. I'll actually leave a link to a good PC Gamer article that I read, it told me how I could obtain this demo, which is uh, completely free, by the way. But until the next one then, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you did, leave a like on it down below. Leave a dislike if you didn't. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you as always for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.